Hello there, welcome back to my channel. Today I'm doing a requested hair tutorial, but to do it, I am actually gonna use a couple of new products that I've never used before. So if you're new here, hit that subscribe button. Now let's get started. Starting off with towel dried hair, I'm just gonna roughly comb through and I just realized I forgot to pull out the leave-in spray that I need to put in. Here we go. Just staying with the Redken 25 Benefits One United Leave-In Spray. This is just so good. Provides heat protection and a little extra conditioner or conditioning, I should say, and a bunch of other things as well. So really nice. And now for my volumizing slash texturizing product, I'm going to use a new one from Bedhead Queen for the Day. It says thickening spray for insane volume and texture. Let's find out if that's true. I was at Marshall's yesterday and picked this up. If you've ever looked at the hair products there, you know you get them at about half the regular price. So I thought that's the way to try this. It does have a sprayer on it. Okay, I'm not sure. Let's go in with at the back of the hair first. Whoa, okay. Okay, it's quite a powerful spray. Can you see that? And what does it smell like? Actually, it's not a real strong scent. I'm trying to even tell if it's a scent I like or not. <laughs> it's not real strong. So apparently it doesn't really matter if it's a good scent or not. It's not very well scented. Okay, and as I'm putting it through the hair, it's kind of interesting. It does not feel like a typical texturizing spray, you know, where it kind of feels like you're making your hair dirty. <laughs> so. I hope I'm not putting in too much. I don't know, but I do know I need some extra volume and texture right up here towards the front. So, okay. Even smelling on my hands, the scent is very light. So, okay, we're off to an okay start there. Let's see what kind of insane volume we get. Going in with my Zuvi Halo Dryer, I use the care setting to start with, and then I will finish on the style setting and attach my diffuser. pretty sure this is not a time when you all will say it looked just fine when you got done blow drying why did you have to go in with product <laughs> so even though this isn't a finished look I do love I mean look at that insane amount of volume um, about halfway through the blow drying process when my hair started getting drier all of a sudden 
I could start to feel a little bit of hold happening in the hair. Before that, I didn't feel like there was gonna be any texture, but I have to say, I'm quite impressed with the volume. And I purposely did not bring in a round styling brush like I sometimes do, because I wanted to show you that by using your fingers and the right product, you can get good volume. So we did that successfully, I think today, but now we need to tame this because <laughs> this is not a finished look for me. All right, so I'm going for, obviously you saw on the thumbnail, the kind of back off the forehead type of look. And I'm going to use my flat iron to kind of help give us a little bit of direction now with the hair using, this is the new me flat iron. It's a one inch and I have it set at 360. Now my hair is quite long at the moment. So I'm gonna put almost like a curl. It is basically kind of like a curl in there. And then here along the part, I kind of like to not have necessarily a set part here. I'm going to use the flat iron to kind of direct it towards the center. And then the sides, I like to usually bring down. So we're gonna just do a couple more curls, if you will, with the flat iron. And this just kind of further sets in a little bit of a look of texture. So don't worry, we're not going to leave it like this, but this is a way to also bring down a little bit the height. Do you see how that kind of brought it down? So the higher you add your curl, the higher the front of your hair is going to be. So since my hair is quite long at the moment, I really don't want my hair to be, you know, three inches high. Although I wish I would have known about all these products and tools in the 90s when I did want my bangs that high. Oh my goodness, early 90s, late 80s, early 90s, right? All right, I think I still need another curl going back here. Let's go right there. And then let's see, we'll take this one down. Okay, and all right. And then the back, I haven't really checked out the back yet. I'm just going to kind of lift a little bit through. And this, the flat iron, taking a flat iron through your hair can, especially if it's one like this, can actually smooth the ends, um, but it can also lock in kind of a little bit the look of some texture. All right, and then I'm just now going to go in, let's see here, before I add my wax, let's just bring a couple of these sections over. All right, if your hair looks kind of like this, it's going in the right direction. All right, I was tempted, oh boy, to use the bedhead manipulator mat, but I feel like I might need a little more control with the Enjoy Dry Wax. Eh, let's go with the bedhead. We'll go with bedhead manipulator mat today, since I know some of you probably picked this up in the Ulta 21 Days of Beauty sale. And I use about the same amount, maybe a little more than I do with the Enjoy Dry Wax. And same thing though that I do with Enjoy Dry Wax, work it through the hands so you don't have any chunks. And then I just, okay, I'm going to kind of crunch my hair together towards the center. Almost like we're gonna do a fake mohawk kind of look. Kind of work at piecing a couple of these side sections. And so I broke up some of the curls on the top here, but I also left them, I, I like them a little bit still kind of textury and pieced together. Here on the side, I'm actually gonna take my flat iron. I want this a little flatter, not quite so rounded there. And then through the back, I've kind of been enjoying just a little bit of a messy look back there. 
Okay, so here's kind of where we're going with the back so far. We haven't added any hairspray. I do have a few little random hairs. I don't know if you can see that on camera, but anything like this that I know is just needing a little extra direction, just take my flat iron through that and just kind of redirect it. Okay, so we're, we're getting close to kind of my goal, I think, for this hairstyle today. So let's see here. We're just gonna keep this all in the bed head family. I didn't plan on that, but let's use the hard head extreme hold hairspray. And now I'm nearing the end of this can, actually. I do have a backup, of course. I have a few backups. <laughs> but let's just spray this in place. And kind of, I use this stuff now to kind of piece a few little sections where I want them to end up laying for the rest of the day. Now here on the sides, you can do whatever you want. You can use this as an opportunity to include a little clip or a bobby pin or something fun here. I'm gonna leave it as is today, but I am going to finish up with one final new product. This is Bedhead Head Rush. And it says super fine shine spray for extreme gloss. Okay, we're gonna find out, right? Okay, shaking it and okay. Okay, this smells good. Kind of fruity, fruity sweet, I wanna say. And I don't know, do we see? Do we see extreme gloss? Actually, I do think there's a little more shine right there. It is a very fine mist. So it looked like I was using a lot, but I don't feel like I did add a whole lot. Okay, now the test with the shine spray is, you know, does it affect the overall hold feeling in the hair? And I don't feel like it did. I don't feel like it made the hair look or feel greasy. I don't know that it fell at all in the volume. Okay, I actually kind of like that. Okay, so I decided after I was all done, and sometimes this happens, that I wanted maybe just a little more smooth look right here and a little bit shorter. So you can see, I just pulled down that front section, gave it another curl with the flat iron. Yes, okay, that's a little better. And now just a touch of hairspray. And why not, let's add a little more shine spray. Super glossy, right? Okay, now here is our finished look. And I have enjoyed having my bangs off my forehead, especially when it's been so hot here. But in order to do that successfully, I have to have the right products to hold and add that volume. And I feel like these products, especially this queen for the day, I felt like that gave my hair amazing volume. So I'm excited to continue using this. And then the gloss, I do feel like this added shine to my hair today. My hair wasn't overly dry and brittle looking by no means when I was done with the flat iron, but I do feel like I noticed a little added gloss. So I'll continue using these products and let you know. As always, check the description box down below for links and a list of everything I use today. And I'll see you next time. Bye.